Namaste. Welcome. My name is Kristen and in today's video I'm going to be guiding you all through a very gentle and nourishing restorative yoga practice. Restorative yoga truly is the art of letting go. This practice is designed to introduce you into a few restorative postures using props and is designed for you to weave in at any time of day. It's also very nourishing to explore this practice just before bed to help calm the mind, relax the body, and soothe the central nervous system. For today's practice, you might reach for your yoga mat, a blanket, which can be very supportive to lay down on top of your mat to support the back of the body, as well as a couple of pillows, maybe one or two blocks and a bolster or maybe a stack of pillows or even a couch cushion. You might reach for an eye pillow as well, which can be a really nice addition to your practice anytime we're in a supine position or on the back of the body. When you're ready, I invite you to take a moment to really set the tone of your space. You might put on some relaxing music or light some incense, dim down the lights, and be sure to put your phone on silent. Preparing for your yoga practice is really a sacred time and it's a really important time just for you. And so when you're ready, let's begin. We're going to begin today's practice in a restorative posture known as bump on a log. This is one of my favorite poses. If you have a bolster at home, I invite you to take your bolster horizontally across your mat. You can bring in a pillow at the top of your mat to support the head. And then you might take one or two pillows or even an extra bolster or cushion at the back of your mat to support the tops of the feet. And then when you're ready, place the tops of your feet on the back pillow. And you're going to bring the bolster or cushion along the center of your mat just to the center, the front little pointy edges of your hips here. And you're going to come down into a prone position on the belly. From there, you can cactus your arms out nice and wide and just bring your left ear down to the pillow or down to your yoga mat. Just take a few moments to settle in here. There's no rush. Ensuring that the body feels completely supported. Knowing that the arms can rest or land anywhere that feels really nourishing. And as you settle into stillness, I'll invite you to take a nice, deep, full breath in and a deeper breath out, letting go and just noticing if the breath in any way felt restricted by the prop underneath the low belly. And if so, I just invite you to maybe inch that bolster or cushion down just a little bit so that the breath is not restricted in any way. Knowing that it is worth it to take the extra time to settle in to that comfortable place of stillness. A place where you feel so supported and so held that you can just begin to let go. Allowing the weight of gravity to begin to take effect as the whole body becomes heavy. Each exhale bringing you deeper and deeper into that connection with the earth beneath you. 
letting go and letting go this is a really wonderful posture to help bring in a gentle massage for the low belly, the digestive organs, but simultaneously helps to relieve tension in the hips, and in particular, the hip flexors, and more specifically, the psoas muscle. In yoga, the psoas is sometimes known as the muscle of emotion. A muscle where we can carry a lot of emotional energy in the form of tension. And so by bringing some release into this area of the body, it can also help to facilitate the release of stored emotions in the body. So just allow yourself to be here with your breath. Noticing how it feels to breathe down into the earth. which then brings the breath up into the back of the body. Simply allowing the eyes to become nice and heavy. Relaxing the jaw. and just allowing each breath to bring you deeper and deeper and deeper. And if you have one ear on the earth, very gently, just bring the opposite ear down. And this helps to ensure we find balance in the cervical spine, in the upper back, in the neck. And then just take a moment to settle back into stillness on the other side. Restorative yoga truly is an opportunity to let go. An opportunity for you to relax into just beingness. As you continue to rest, you might imagine an energetic connection like an umbilical cord that runs from the navel down into the earth. This energetic connection between body and earth. And with each exhale, imagine just 
letting go of tension, letting go of any energy or things that may be holding you back here. Letting that energy drain down into the earth where it can be recycled and let go. And simultaneously, on the inhale, could you imagine absorbing all of the therapeutic or elemental benefits that the earth has to offer? A sense of groundedness, connectedness, a sense of safety or being held. Inhaling all of the abundance and exhaling, letting go of what no longer serves you here. And slowly start to deepen the breath in. Taking a moment here to notice how you feel. As if your arms were wide open and you were offering this wonderful hug to Mother Earth. When you feel ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And very, very gently, when you're ready, begin to ground into the palms. Start to slowly press yourself all the way up. You might keep the eyes closed or even hold on to a soft gaze here. And start to draw your sitting bones down towards your heels. We'll come into an extended child's pose. So you can remove that pillow from underneath the tops of your feet and just bring it on top of your heels now. Take your knees a little bit wider apart, big toes together. Sink your sitting bones down towards your heels and you're welcome to turn the bolster or the cushion or pillows lengthwise as you rest the chest down onto the bolster. Hugging that prop in as close as you need to feel supported here. You might extend the arms out long in front or maybe wrap your arms around by your sides, maybe reach for the heels. Just allowing the hips to become heavy here. Knowing that you can always bring in more support underneath the sits bones you're experiencing any tension in the hips. Moving from this beautiful extension across the hips in our first pose to this very gentle flexion. This deep fold in the front of the hip joints as we lengthen and stretch into the low back, the lumbar spine. Closing down the eyes and tuning back into that wonderful natural flow of the breath. You might even begin to weave in ujjayi breath or ocean sounding breath here. Breathing in deeply. 
And then finding that gentle constriction in the back of the throat so the exhale becomes slow, controlled, and slightly audible. Like the sound of the waves or the ocean. Just taking a few rounds of oceanic breath to massage the vagus nerve and to calm the nervous system. Each breath Letting go, letting go. And again, if you have one ear on your bolster, you can lift the gaze and bring the opposite ear down. Wonderful. Slowly start to deepen the breath back in. All the way down into the pelvic floor. Taking as much time as you need to linger in this beautiful supported child's pose, a wonderful counter shape to our previous posture and bump on a log. Taking as much time as you need, as little effort, honoring the slow pace in the transitions between poses, slowly start to lift yourself up. You can set your prop off to the side just for now and come into a tabletop position. Taking a moment to stack the joints. Bring the knees hip width. You might tuck the toes or just press the tops of the feet into the earth. And on your next breath in, dip your belly low, lift your gaze and lift your tail into a very gentle cow spine. And then exhale to gently press the earth away from you, dome the upper back into a cat stretch. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, broaden into the shoulder blades as you hug navel to spine. Taking just a few more breaths here, moving through this very gentle flexion, extension of the spine. Wonderful. From here, we'll move into our next posture, coming into a supported twist. So I invite you to reach for one or two blocks. Take them to the top of your mat here. We're gonna create a little bit of a wedge shape. So you can either use one block or a stack of books and simply just place it at the top of the mat and then take your bolster or a stack of cushions or pillows to create this little wedge shape. If you have two blocks, you can take the second block on its second highest setting. So you're creating more of the shape of a T at the top of your mat here. 
Again, creating this nice little wedge shape. And then from there, I'll invite you to snuggle your left hip up nice and close to the base of the bolster here. And then just bring your knees into this beautiful pinwheel shape. A nice option could be to bring a pillow in between the knees as well, or even a blanket over top of the body. From here, take your hands to frame the bolster. Take a nice deep breath in as you sweep your right arm back. Open up the chest here. And exhale to thread that right arm underneath the left as if you were trying to wrap your right hand around your left side rib. It's just a gentle twist here. Inhale, open the chest, look back. Exhale, find that gentle twist as you hug into yourself. One more breath. Beautiful. From here, take your hands to frame the bolster, slowly start to lower belly, chest, and then bring your left ear down to the bolster. Take a moment here to settle in. You might wrap your arms around the bolster. You might extend the left arm down alongside the body if that feels more comfortable. Again, taking as much time as you need, I guarantee you that it's worth it to ensure that the body feels supported and comfortable. And just begin to soften down through the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. And deeper breath out you allow your body to start to conform to the landscape of props beneath you now. You might bring your awareness to the shape of the spine here. And just noticing how it feels to breathe into this shape. Twists are a wonderful opportunity to wring out, to let go, to facilitate the natural digestion and detoxification processes within. Letting go. Letting go. And from here, I invite you to just rest. Nothing more and nothing less. Leaning into the deep rest that you so deserve. And when you feel like the mind begins to wander, simply just become aware of the breath once again. You might even weave back in a few rounds of ujjayi breath.
simply the awareness of the breath brings you back into the present moment because the breath is always present. Taking a deep breath in and a deeper breath out. And you are welcome to stay on this side as long as you need. When you're ready, begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. And then gently, gently begin to press yourself all the way up. Take your hands behind you as you lift your knees. You might bring your pillow to the other side. But with the knees lifted and the hands behind you, bring the feet a little bit wide and just let the knees fall to the right and gaze up and over to the left. Inhale, come to center and exhale in the opposite direction. Just allowing the knees to float from side to side like little windshield wipers. And the next time the knees float up and over to the right, snuggle the right hip up close to the bolster. You can take that pillow in between the knees and then take your hands to frame your wedge here. Breathe in, sweep the left arm back, open the chest. And then exhale to thread that left arm underneath the right as if you were trying to hug that right side rib cage. Inhale, open the chest, look to the left hand. Exhale to hug into yourself here. One more breath. Take your hands to frame your bolster nice and slow. Start to lower the belly, the chest, and bring the right ear down. You can wrap your arms around your props here. And just know that you can always bring in the addition of an extra pillow to support the head or the neck whenever you feel the need. Closing down the eyes, relax the jaw. Take a nice deep breath in and release. Allowing the breath to carry you through this pose. So often in yoga practice, we think that we use the body to get into the pose. But in reality, we use the pose to get into the body. So just allow your awareness to open up to your internal landscape. Notice here in the quietude of stillness how you feel. Noticing where sensations are present. Any points of tension. And see if you can invite in more softness. More sweetness. To all of those tender parts of yourself that require a little bit more loving attention. That's it. Continuing to relax.
Notice if you have forgotten your breath. You might weave back in a few rounds of ujjayi breath. Always coming back home to the breath. Now again, you're welcome to stay on this side as long as you need. Maybe even longer. When you feel ready, start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Gently begin to ground into your palms as you lift yourself up. Take your hands behind you, lift the knees up once again. Take the feet wide and just let the knees float from side to side. Wonderful. I invite you to find a comfortable seated position just for a moment here. Crossing the ankles, finding Sukhasana. You might even bring a pillow or cushion underneath your seat. Just begin to relax your hands down by your sides. Let your fingertips touch the earth. Sit up nice and tall. And then draw your chin down towards your chest. On your next breath in, roll your right ear to right shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Just finding some of these nourishing neck rolls. Moving with breath. Wonderful. When you feel complete from side to side, lift your gaze. And from here, we're going to come into our final restorative posture for tonight, a supported back bend. So you can keep your props just as they are. The pillow underneath the head is a nice addition here. And this time, snuggle your sacrum up nice and close to the bottom of the bolster. You might bring in pillows here on either side. So we're going to bring the legs into a bound angle or supta baddha konasana option. So when you're ready, take your hands to your hamstrings and slowly start to recline down onto the bolster. Take a moment to tuck the shoulder blades under. Ensure that the entire length of the spine is supported. Relax your arms down by your sides. And now there's a few options for the legs here. You can either keep the knees bent, the feet wide, knock the knees together, finding this nourishing internal rotation or bring the ankles together, take the knees open wide, and then bring the soles of the feet to come together with support underneath the knees here. It can feel nice to lift the pelvis up and back down just for a moment to let go of any lingering tension. Or the final option, you can just have the legs extended. You might bring support underneath the knees here if you choose. Closing down the eyes, and this is a nice opportunity to bring in an eye pillow or a covering. And here I'll invite you to just take the tips of your fingers to touch where the collarbones meet. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, begin to trace your finger pads along the collarbones towards the shoulders, opening up across the front of the chest, and then relax the arms down by your sides. Flip the palms to face the sky. Opening up the front of the body here. Beginning to let go of any expression that's left on the face. Unhinging the jaw as the lower jaw relaxes down towards the heart space.
allowing the body to conform to the geography of the landscape of props beneath you here. Taking a deep breath in. And exhale to surrender. Allow your whole body to rest. Supported beneath the back body and yet spacious and open towards the sky above. I invite you to rest here in this supported back bend as long as you need. If you would like to close your practice this evening with a guided meditation, a yoga nidra recording. I'll leave one in the link. I'll leave some links in the description below. As well, you might see one of those videos pop up next to me here. If you are feeling called to exploring this practice even further, I invite you to subscribe to stay notified when new content comes out each and every week. I'd love to know how you feel and what you liked and what you'd like to see more of. If you are here from the Embodied Wisdom 200-hour yoga teacher training, please let me know that you are here and following along. As well, if you're feeling called to attend a yoga teacher training, please get in touch with me because we would love to have you. Along with the team here at the School of Living Yoga, we are just so excited about all of the new programs that are coming out this fall. If you're here on Vancouver Island, I'd love to connect with you in person to practice in studio, outdoors in the park, online on Zoom, or even to have you join me in one of my private restorative yoga and yoga nidra retreats at a local yurt here on Vancouver Island. Wherever you are, there you are. And I'm so glad that you are here with me. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. We'll see you in the next video.